Now, not every vehicle or truck you're going to get into is going to be equipped with a center console. Some of them, the center console is actually a solid piece that goes from between the seats all the way to the front. Some of them are just a cup holder assembly down here. And then you've got this one in particular that has no center console. Now, we've got some screws back up in here. Uh, this piece of trim just pops off. Just grab a corner, start working your way. And there you go, you got that off. We'll set that to the side because there are gonna be two 10 millimeters, one here and one there that we have to get off. Now earlier I showed you this trim piece getting taken off. Like I said, this does not have a floor console, so we don't have to worry about it. We took the trim piece off. And here are those two 10 millimeters I mentioned earlier. Here's one 10, there's another 10 right here. Up under the, I can push down on the vinyl floor and get to it. Go ahead and back these two 10s out of the way. Set them to the side so that you know which ones they are as well. And we'll go ahead and get those off. Another duplicate item we got is these grab handles. Now the grab handles have two 10 millimeter bolts up in here. Now they got plastic access covers though that are hiding it up so you can't see the bolts. Now getting a plastic trim stick in here is kind of hard because it's such a tight there's almost no clearance around the cap. You almost have to use a small screwdriver. Now you need to be careful because there's almost no way to not mar it up a little bit. Just try your best. Don't get up here and pry a lot and dig too much. I try to get an edge and pop it the best I can without getting in there too much. Do the same thing down here. And now I can get to these two tins. Now keep in mind what bolts go where. These are kind of gray in color for flat wash. You just kind of remember as you're going. And then all I gotta do is grab the handle and pull. And I sit to the side. And when you're going back with it, you got some little plastic fingers right here you need to line up. It's almost like a little track up here on top of the dash. You would line up, put it down, and you line up where the plastic snap is because it does snap in place just like that. And you still got your bolts as well. So definitely gotta unsnap it to get it off. Now there's going to be one connector down here that I need to go ahead and get unhooked and I'll go ahead and pop it from the sheet metal. But still over here on the passenger side with that, that grab handle trim piece taken off. Now right here I want to get this connector, I want to pop it loose. Use uh, anything from a, a door panel popper type tool, it'd be fine. And then I need to disconnect it as well, just squeeze in on the lock, pull it off. I mentioned previously that there's two bolts that go along the top of the dash. They're a bunch of plastic square covers. Here's one of them. Now they're kind of hard to get to because you got the windshield right here. Now we got to do the same thing. A, a plastic trim stick probably won't fit down in there. We've got to get a small screwdriver. Like I said, I don't really like using it on plastic, but in this case, I don't have much of a choice. I need to get to an edge, try to get up under enough to kind of pick it up. And there we go. We've got that one out of the way. And we got one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. And down in here is going to be a 10 millimeter bolt. Now what I like to use is a 10 millimeter short socket, quarter inch drive, or a quarter inch swivel. Try to get it up out of here and just kind of back it out slowly by hand. Like I said, these are the two along the top you need to get. And like I said, driver's side is going to be exactly the same. That's a duplicate as well. All right, now that we've got access to the two tens that go on top of the dash, this is what I'm going to use. I know earlier I said you could usually use a short socket. I'm using a long quarter inch 10 millimeter with a swivel and a long extension. So I can get down in there. I almost can't see it. Main thing you need to worry about is don't hit the windshield with the ratchet. The last thing you want to do is crack the windshield. So just take your time. The belt bolt all the way out. And then, like I said, this is the passenger side we're doing. We just need to repeat the procedure on the driver's side. Now on the driver's side, one thing we need to actually unhook is the emergency brake release handle. Uh, if you pull up here, you see this white piece right here in the rod. The rod is actually going through the dash and goes to the emergency brake assembly, so we need to go ahead and unhook it. Now the way to unhook it is the white piece. You need to grab on it. Squeeze if you can. Here we go. Rotate it down. Once you rotate it down, you can actually pull the rod off. I'll show you what it looks like from the side. This way, when we pull the dash off, the rod's going to go back through the dash. It's just that when you come back, we're putting the dash together, make sure you guide this rod back through the hole. Now, here's the back side of the emergency brake release handle. This is the piece I just took loose. The rod, which is right here. 
has a little hook on it. The hook goes inside the hole on the white piece. And what you do is you rotate the white piece up till it locks onto the rod. And what we're doing is we're actually pulling and spreading the ends apart up top and pulling it off and then pulling the rod out and letting it come back. Now that we got it loose, now we can move on to the next step. Pan wheel, the way that goes right below the steering wheel, you now I have access to a few different things. Uh, as you can see, this harness is part of the dash, so I need to start disconnecting where it goes. So you got to connect it right here, we're going to unplug. And we've also got the brake pedal switch now. You gotta watch out on the brake pedal switch. Sometimes when you go to reinstall them, sometimes the brake lights don't work like they're supposed to or they stay on. Just definitely pay attention to that. Uh, what I do is I just rotate. Well, this way I'm going clock, counterclockwise and then I pull it off. And when I go back in, it's the same thing. Line it up and rotate it clockwise. So counterclockwise, take it off. Clockwise, put it on. So those two are disconnected. Now we're still up under the dash. Now, the harness we took loose earlier that had the brake pedal switch on and this white connector here, we've got another connector right here we need to take loose. Now, the connector actually is right here at the bottom of this cutout. So I can just reach right here, squeeze in on the lock, and pull the connector off. This wire right here, don't worry about it. That goes to the white piece we've already disconnected. That stays on the column. Otherwise, everything electrical that we want for right now is going to be disconnected from the column. There's still a harness that's hooked to it, but we're going to have enough slack once we drop it down that we don't have to worry about it. Now, in order to drop the steering column, we've got a total of four bolts we need to take off. Now, they got 13 millimeter nuts on them. You've got one right here. Now, this is the one. Now, let's go ahead and orientate where everything is. This is towards the firewall. This is towards the steering wheel. We've got one right here. Excuse me, right there. We've got another one right here. One right there. And we've got another one right up in here. So you can actually see the four 13 millimeter nuts that we're going to be taking off. Now if you've got adjustable pedals you may run into a little bit of a fight to get the steering column down because you got some brackets in the way but it will go. This one doesn't. This is pretty cut and dry. So we'll go ahead and start backing off on the, all these 13s and we'll leave one in place at the end so that way we can hold the steering column up while we take it and then we lower it down to the floor. Now we got one thing I want to do, like I said, we're not disconnecting the main harness going to the steering column. We're just repositioning it so we get more room. It's held in place right here on the sheet metal of the dash. We just need to get up under here and pop it loose. There we go. Now with that, we'll have enough slack so when we lower the steering column, we don't have to worry about disconnecting that. So make sure you undo that. And when you go back with it, make sure you put it back in its place. That way it doesn't rub up against something they don't need to.